Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cynical, and today for you guys, I thought we'd sit down and talk a little bit about IGN, a little bit edgy. So yes, today I wanted to sit down and talk a little bit about IGN. I'm sure most of you guys know who and what IGN is. The biggest gaming entertainment news channel here on YouTube. As you guys should probably know, here on the channel we have a little bit of history when it comes to Kingdom Hearts and IGN. We've made a lot of different videos in the past critiquing IGN and kind of memeing around IGN in terms of the way that they report on Kingdom Hearts. A little bit about the Lost Masters for those of you that probably don't understand the Kingdom Hearts story, like like I don't. Oh, okay, okay. She just said, for the people who don't understand the Kingdom Hearts story, like, like I don't. And then she goes on to explain. The logic. Throughout this year, obviously, we've been treated extremely kindly by Square Enix to do with new Kingdom Hearts content, that including the release of Kingdom Hearts 2.8, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5, as well as a lot of Kingdom Hearts 3 news throughout this year. And to be expected, IGN have of course reported on all of the new Kingdom Hearts goodness that has happened throughout the extent of this year. Now, I've received a lot, and I really do mean a lot of comments from you guys here on YouTube and over on Twitter, pretty much asking me, cynical, you know, IGN, they're still reporting on Kingdom Hearts, are you gonna chuck in your five cents into the situation? Are you gonna whip out the old spit roast? And so I guess I'm wanting to use this video to kind of address the reasoning behind why we haven't really talked about IGN in quite some time. I don't know, maybe these IGN videos here on my channel are kind of becoming like a staple point thing that we do, but you guys have been asking for this. So I think the situation comes down to this. If your job is to clean up a bear's shit that shits in the woods, but the bear hasn't shit, then there's no shit to clean up, right? That's pretty much what's going on right here. It's honestly and quite frankly been quite some time since IGN have slipped up in terms of reporting about Kingdom Hearts. I honestly think that IGN have made somewhat of a redemption for themselves. And I've been keeping an eye on the different Kingdom Hearts videos and content that IGN have been uploading throughout the extent of this year, and I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. What it comes down to though is this man right here. This is the saving grace of Kingdom Hearts and IGN. This guy is known as Jonathan Dornbush and trust me, he is literally the saving grace when it comes to IGN reporting on Kingdom Hearts. This man knows his shit. Like, he knows his shit. That makes a huge difference when it comes to Kingdom Hearts and IGN. Because as you guys should probably know, back in 2015, IGN for some reason hired two people who really knew nothing about the series Full stop to do an analysis. So this is Young Master Zenahort playing with Young Master Eriquis. Er yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not. Oh my fucking god. Like, okay, I get it. If you were to get like an outsider's point of view and perspective on a game that they really don't know shit all about, but when you get two people who quite literally don't know shit all about a video game to do an actual analysis on it. Are you tripping? What sort of drugs you taking? And so yeah, it would seem like these days IGN have finally found the appropriate people to report on this franchise. Not only that, but they also got Marty Silver, who has been at IGN for like years now to actually step in and report about stuff to do with Kingdom Hearts for quite some time before Jonathan Dornbush came in. And honestly, I thought that Marty Silver did a pretty good job with reporting on Kingdom Hearts. I think the major issue when it came to Kingdom Hearts and IGN was the people who they were using to report on the franchise. And so I can't exactly critique IGN and absolutely take the piss out of them when they're actually doing an okay job. People learn from their mistakes and I think IGN have actually finally done that. And I think with the community backlash of IGN's reporting on Kingdom Hearts, it's really sent them the message to actually get their shit together. And they have, so you know what? Kudos to you IGN, you're actually doing a pretty good job when it comes to reporting on Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I never thought I would say that. <laughs> I never thought I would say that. 2017, you're full of mysteries, baby. Yeah, full of mysteries. Now, as you guys should probably know, next year is going to be a massive year when it comes to Kingdom Hearts. 2018 is, of course, the release year of Kingdom Hearts 3, which means uh, 2018, we are in for some extremely juicy Kingdom Hearts news next year. Like, literally, Kingdom Hearts 3 news is going to be left, right, and center. So the question remains, will they slip up? We might end up seeing, you know, the old video next year with you know, a few kind of questionable things. But to be honest, I think IGN are now on the, the home straight for actual good reporting on Kingdom Hearts, especially with a guy like this. Once again, like, if you've actually watched a video with Jonathan Dornbush uh, from IGN actually talking about Kingdom Hearts, just from listening to him, you can tell that this is a guy that has been genuinely interested in the franchise 
for years now. I mean, the man's got a Kingdom Hearts mug for damn sake. So yes, that's kind of my reasoning behind why I haven't done any sort of IGN parody video or some sort of video just taking the piss out of IGN or critiquing them. I think they've actually made amends with reporting on Kingdom Hearts and so far they're actually doing a pretty good job. So that's all from me today, guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.